What's up everybody and welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel. My name is Ricky and if you're new here, thanks for checking the channel out. Um, I'm obviously in a different space as my subscribers will know right now. This is not my usual setup, uh, but I'm over in uh, Maryland right now for military training if you guys have not been around on the channel. And because of that, I've had to find some new creative ways of making videos for the channel. And one of them that a bunch of you guys out in the community suggested was to have me check out your setups and react to them. So I uh, had you guys go ahead and submit your setups in the community discord, which is linked down below if you guys wanna get in that, if you're not already there, uh, and we'll be taking submissions always. So just feel free, throw your stuff in there, follow the rules, and you may be featured in a future video. But with all that out of the way, we're just gonna go ahead and hop right in to a couple of the first submissions that I got from you guys out in the community and take a look at the awesome setups that you guys have going on. So let's get started with our first setup. Get rid of that Windows 10 watermark and start saving with URCD Key. URCD Key offers deep discounts on games and software with my own special promo code. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item you want, click buy to add it to your cart, and then once you're in your cart, you can go ahead and enter my promo code RAV20 for 20% off of your purchase. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and enter your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with zero watermarks. Check the links in the video description to start saving now. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started with a subscriber called Insanity and definitely fits your name because your setup is pretty insane, my man. So with the PC we got in this setup right here, uh, we are rocking an i7 9700F, a 2070 Super, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 750 watt gold certified power supply, a one terabyte HDD with a 400 gigabyte SSD is the boot drive I'm guessing, and a gigabyte B365M Wi-Fi. And as you can see in this setup, you guys, this thing is freaking crazy. He's going with the white and RGB theme setup. Lots of really cool colors going on. It's very clean and minimal, but man, the colors just pop in this thing. I really, really enjoy a lot of the stuff in here. For peripherals, we got a lot of stuff going on, guys. So we got a Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard, a Razer Death Adder V2 mouse, a Razer Goliathus Chroma Extended mouse pad, a PlayStation Gold Edition headset, and then we also have a uh, Razer Base Station Chroma headset stand for it, which is really nice. Uh, we see those speakers in the background, the other Creative Pebble V3s, and then we also, of course, got the Blue Yeti that I'm speaking on right now. And then we also got the Toner T20 Boom Arm. I see this guy watch my video, definitely. And he has the shocks. <laughs> I'm reading his things right now, it's super funny. He has the Knox Gear shock mount and it says, recommended by Ricky. You're welcome. Anyway, some more stuff on the desk here. We got a wireless charger. He said it was some random one off Amazon. I'll try to find it for you guys. He's got the Logitech C615 as a webcam. So he said he's gonna upgrade that pretty soon. So hopefully you get that thing upgraded. And it looks like he's got two monitors. As you guys can see, he's got the uh, Asus VG278QR monitors right there. And then a Killaby non Von Racer gaming chair. So guys, I like the two monitor thing right here. I like how he's got them uh, equal. Um, I know that some people don't like that because you do get a bezel in the middle, but if this guy makes it work, he makes it work because it does look really awesome with the nano leaves in the background. I really like the color scheme he's got going on because everything in the setup is basically white and then he can just basically put whatever RGB colors he wants in the background. I see he's got that going on with his uh, monitors and his backgrounds as well as his PC and the nano leaves in the top just kind of casting whatever color he feels that day. Obviously he felt like he wanted to do blue and pink and those kind of like synth wave colors. And as you guys can see, he didn't list it, but in the very background, you guys can see that there is a box for an Oculus and you can see up on the wall there on the left, he actually has his Oculus uh, sticks or his uh, you know Oculus control. So very cool stuff, man. I uh, really enjoy your setup insanity. I think this is a great way to start off the series, man. You got some really good stuff going on. I see what you did, the uh, usual Ikea desk. 
with the Alex drawers and then the uh, the pole in the middle for support. So good on you, man. Looks very, very nice. And uh, from your other pictures here, we got we got a lot of stuff going on that, that that's good to look at, man. He even went as far as to show us under his desk. Not a lot of people do that. He actually showed us the cable management that he did. So good on you, man. It looks really, really nice. I can see that you use the, uh, the little kind of uh, hooks that you can put underneath that kind of go on with 3M tape. Those are very useful if you guys need a little tip on that. And then as you can see, he's using those little cable raceways in the back. It looks like they're like little smaller ones so he can route the cables um, just in a line. So very good job, Insanity. Your cable management looks really awesome. I like how you did a similar thing with your tonar boom arm there on the left and you kind of routed the cable down and underneath the desk. That's really nice. I think he just does this really well and it's really pleasing to the eye. So great setup, man. I, I really, really think you did a great job. Okay, so the next viewer's setup that we're gonna take a look at is Legend. Now it's Legend with X's as the E, so this guy's gotta be hardcore or something, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding, but anyway. We got first, it looks like we have an Ikea desk. I think it may even be the same one that I used to use, probably the uh, the Linman desk with the old uh, you know metal legs on it. Just, just taking a look at it, it looks just like that. And then as you can see, we got a dual monitor setup. We got a few peripherals and everything. It, it's, it's a pretty solid setup, you guys. So let's take a look at what he has in this. And as you can see, as far as the PC, we have ourselves a good old Dell Optiplex, which is still an awesome, little opportunity to to build yourself a you know a budget a budget pc these days so with the cpu we got an i5 3470 i'm very well versed in these i built a ton of these and then it looks like he's got eight gigs of ram which is pretty standard and then a gt730 for the gpu so those go, those are like one of the only graphics cards you can find for a normal price right now so i can see why he's doing that and you can play some games with it so not a big deal uh one terabyte hard drive and then a 275 watt dell psu pretty standard stuff uh, and let's see, yeah, he even says in here, it's his first PC, he's on a budget. So there you go, you guys. It's like a, a first setup for somebody. So not too shabby, I have to say. So he's got two monitors. It looks like the left one is an Acer SB220Q. And then the uh, right one is the On Surf Edition, it looks like. <laughs> not sure of the size of them, but they look like they're maybe 24 or 22 inches. And his keyboard and mouse, we got a Rekazer mechanical gaming keyboard and a Ren Dragon. M652 uh, mouse there. And then that speaker you see in the middle is a Votnut speaker. And then he's using a Logitech C920 webcam, which is standard. I still have one of those too. And then it looks like for his microphone, boom arm and uh, shock mount there, it is the Maono USB microphone that I reviewed here on the channel. So looks like somebody else watched one of my videos too. So not surprising there, but guys, as far as the setup, he's got a really nice looking setup here for a first, you know, budget setup. He's got the dual monitor thing going on. It looks like he even has his middle monitor on a monitor arm. So really great on him for cleaning that up. He's got his whole streaming setup. He's got, looks like he's got lighting in the back right there. He has a webcam. Uh, he's got his controller. He's got his keyboard mouse. He's even got a stand there for like his cell phone and stuff like that. And a stand for his headphones. So for our first budget setup, Legend, good job, my man. Looks awesome. And I also really want to commend you for the Thrasher sign in the back because I'm a skateboarder myself. So kudos to you for that, man. All right, now our next setup is from a long time subscriber of the channel, and this is from Solderism. So we got a nice little white and blue looking theme setup. Well, white, black, and blue, I think, and maybe a little bit of gray mix in there, theme setup right here. And it's looking really nice. I believe it's got another another one of these Ikea Alex uh, drawer type things. I don't know if it's an Ikea desk, but it's just definitely some kind of clean looking white desk that he's got going on here with a white and black case. Very nice looking. Two monitors. Uh, one, actually, he does the setup that I normally do with the first monitor right in front of you and then the other one off to the left. So that's kind of what I do with my setup as well. And so taking a look at his specs right here, we got a Ryzen 5 1500X in the PC, with an MSI B350 AM4 crate gaming motherboard, 16 gigabytes of, uh, looks like his RAM is 2666. You gotta get some better RAM if you can, man. It'll make that 1500X uh, run a little bit faster. Try to get over 3000 at least. Uh, it looks like for the graphics card, we got a GTX 1063 gigabyte. He even says in here that it's starting to show his age, like his PC anyway. So I think he's already thinking of kind of giving it an upgrade. Anyway, continuing on here, we got a 250 gigabyte SSD, probably as the boot drive and a one terabyte HDD, pretty standard. 600 watt power supply and that case is an NZXT S340. And then taking a look at the whole setup itself right here with his peripherals, we got a custom keyboard. He did not say what it is, but it looks like it's, uh, a, oh, it's a drop control keyboard. It says lubed in film with black inks, uh, a, se a set of switches I'm actually gonna try pretty soon. 
And then, um, yeah, he actually says he put a lot of work into this keyboard, so that's really cool to see. Uh, and paired with it right there is a Corsair Glaive on an MM800 Corsair mouse pad. So that's really nice, looking awesome there. And then uh, his monitors, it looks like they're AOC 60 hertz two millisecond monitors. So it looks like they're a matched pair, which makes it look good. Um, one thing I would say about your monitors, man, try to get a monitor arm or two, or a double monitor arm and get those things off the desk. It'll make it clean up a lot more right there. Uh, and those speakers you see on the side are Logitech Z207 speakers. And then his headset down at the bottom there is a Corsair Virtuoso RGB wireless headset. So it's a great wireless headset. And then as far as his, uh, looks like his mic, it's a Blue Snowball Ice. I used to have that thing. And it looks like it's on the old Tonor boom arm or something similar to that. So good on you for that, man. And then as you guys can see, he's got a Logitech C920 webcam and a Oculus Quest is that, um, VR headset he's got there on top of his PC. And it looks like not in the photo, he also has an HTC Vive, he's, Vive, he says, it's not in the photos. And that little bar you see on there, it says it's a dolphin bar for Wii emulation, so he must play Wii games as well. So really awesome looking setup there, man. So uh, it looks like he says he's kind of kept it the same for quite a while and hasn't really upgraded too much because of the PC uh, part prices right now, but he says, once it kind of levels out, he's looking to upgrade more. But either way, man, really clean looking setup right there. And it looks like a nice little corner to get some gaming done. And our last setup we're going to feature here in today's video is going to be from a viewer called Nivek. And now I really wanted to feature his setup because, man, this thing is very clean and minimal. And I mean, it really, really is. It absolutely just exudes clean and minimal. It's, it's exactly what you need. Nothing more. No frills. No super crazy RGB lights or anything like that. It's very, very minimal. And I like what he's doing with, uh, it looks like this right here would take the ball in on a budget uh, award home today. So let's get into what he's got here in the setup. So for his PC there, he's got on the right, his processor is an Intel i3 9100F. So again, ball on a budget there, really nice budget processor. 16 gigs of RAM, super standard. He's got himself an XFX RX 580, eight gigs. So I used to use this card a lot in a lot of my budget builds. Uh, he's still rocking one of these and with the graphics card shortage, you know, I understand. Uh, he's got himself an Asus Prime B365M, very popular motherboard. A uh, The case, that black and white case he's using is a Thermaltake S100 uh, TG Snow, TG for tempered glass because he's got a nice tempered glass side panel. And then for storage, he's got himself a 240 gigabyte SSD. I really hope you're not playing Warzone, my man, because <laughs> you're gonna need some more space. I'd highly recommend you buy yourself a uh, either a bigger SSD or just like a one terabyte uh, HDD or even uh, SSHD or something like that for games. And then he's got himself a Seasonic uh, S12-111 550-watt power supply. Good on you, man. That's a really great power supply. So very nice uh, going with a very, very reputable company. And then for accessories, we take a look at his desk right here. We see none other than the good old Gamma K K87 keyboard that we featured here on the channel. So really awesome, man. Hopefully, maybe I influenced you on that one, but great keyboard. Uh, it adds that pop of RGB for your setup that uh, that just gives it a little bit of, you know, little bit of a nice glow on there. And then for his mouse, it's a Mad Cats Rat 5. I had no idea people used to use Mad, Mad Cats stuff, uh, but hopefully you like it, man. I hope it's a good mouse. He's got the Blue Yeti, which again, we're using right here. And then he's got one monitor, an Acer Nitro 23.8 uh, inch, so 24 inch. Uh, I think that monitor is 144 Hertz. It usually is the Nitro edition ones are. So he's got himself a nice eSports gaming setup right here. And just taking a look at what his setup looks like, he's got a nice, you know, wood top desk. He's got an extended mouse pad. He's got his uh, his Blue Yeti's microphone for, you know, if he wants to talk to his, uh, his friends and everything like that. And then he's got a nice little table lamp to kind of, you know, add a little bit of decor to it. And then behind his monitor, he's got his little uh, sound panels to kind of, you know, make it look a little cleaner. And so, man, if I was to give you any advice on to just take this thing, this nice clean and minimal setup you got to the next level, I would say for your microphone, get a boom arm. I got a nice video for that. I actually got a couple of them that are very popular. So check those out real quick. And then uh, for your monitor, put it on a monitor arm, man. I can't stress that enough. Just putting your monitors on a monitor arm just makes your setup look so much cooler. Uh, and I would I would love to see your setup once you put a monitor arm on, on or something like that. And then, man, if you wanted to do a couple things, maybe with the background of your setup right here, maybe add uh, some art, maybe disc plates, something like that, like I have in mine, or um, different types of artwork, you know, above those sound panels, or maybe even just add an RGB strip to the back of your desk to give a little bit of pop to the back of your setup. Either way, man, 
I like it. You are definitely balling on a budget. You take that award home for sure. And I think you're doing a great job. So uh, keep it up, man. I really like it. Okay, fam, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Um, just in time also because my light back there died just as I was finishing up that last segment. Again, if you guys are not in the Discord and you wanna start submitting your setup, to be featured in one of the videos it's in the description below so go ahead and check that out as well in the description is my merch link right here got to do a shameless plug before the video is over so if you guys want to get yourself some really cool ra visuals merch like this shirt right here this is what i call the retro logo uh t-shirt go ahead and check the merch link down below and get yourself some really cool stuff to rock but as always guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and drop the video a like I really appreciate that. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notification bell. So that way you'll always see my new uploads when they come out. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys later.